Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your horoscope forecast. This is going to be for weekly. This is going to be for October 27th to November 2nd. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful dolls, let's jump right in here. So we're going to be looking at your day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, the block studies and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's going to my Libra's romantic love life? October 27th to November 2nd. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look here. So we're looking at October 27th, October 28th, October 29th, October 30th, October 31st, November 1st, and November 2nd. Okay, love interest feelings, blockage delays and challenges, and overall outcome. Bottom of the deck, seems like Libra, there is this, some sense of burden, responsibility, something weighing heavy here with the 10 of wands energy. And the obstacle or blockage could be this queen, excuse me, page of wands, which could be, hmm, what are my options here? I wanna explore some things. I wanna look into this, look into that, okay? Or it could be this flirting or this younger fire sign. So it looks like you guys are really trying to juggle a heavy decision coming up here with the two of pentacles energy. Now, what are pentacles? Pentacles are money, family, children, long-term. And either there's a decision being made here or it could be you guys are trying to uh, correlate your schedule to um, meet up with someone here with the two of pentacles energy. So some of you guys, it's either you're making a decision on who you wanna be with or Somebody's making a decision of who they want to be with, or there is this juggling of a schedule to try to beat up. Okay, so what's going to be Libra Germanic Love Life October 27th, to November 2nd? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's find out, Libra. Yeah, someone feels like their hands are tied, like there's nothing I can do about it, Libra. My hands are tied. I need to get my schedule in order here. I still think I can do about it. Okay. Uh, what's going to happen? My deep rose romantic love life, October 27th to November 2nd. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right. We see there's, there's a sense of trying to stay hopeful about this. Make this decision or juggling of a schedule. All right, what's going on by Libra's Romantic Love Life? October 27th to November 2nd. Show me the cards in each, you see? Show me the cards in each. Two, see. Oh, wow, towards some type of long-term commitment or this concerns about going around in circles here. Okay, let's get more information here, Libra. What's going on by Libra's Romantic Love Life, October 27th to November 2nd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So there is some kind of profound sign here. It's been a rough time, but it seems like you're going to overcome some kind of barriers here. The worst of this is over. And now you're about to see some great spiritual signs here. Some kind of miracle is going to happen for you guys when it comes to some kind of long-term commitment. Um, okay, so Seven of Swords here. So Seven of Swords, I know a lot of people will say the Page of Swords is the Spine card, but the Page of Swords is new ideas, new understanding. Seven of Swords could reference the fact that somebody could be spying on you. Just think about what happens when somebody spies on you. They do something sneaky, sly, okay? 
So what does this person look like they're doing? They're doing something sneaky and sly. They could, there could be a deceptive quality, obviously. Sly, slick energy. So let's clarify what is this sly, slick energy that's going on. So there's sly, slick energy is going on because somebody's like, I want something to change. I want to be your person. I want to apologize to you. I want to reconcile with you. I want to clear the air. So they want the truth. They want to speak the truth. They want to clear the air. And they want to let you know that something has grown in this connection. OK, so I see on the 29th, there is something about ending of another situation, death card. When it comes to this pleasure seeking, yeah, I hear a Knight of Wands energy out there. <laughs> always, my new readers out there, always pay attention to the omens whenever you're doing a reading, okay? Because they all are significant in some way, right? So if you hear like a, let's say you, you hear like a, an ambulance, okay? Some kind of urgency, right? Or emergency. And or if you hear um, a car that seems like it's moving slower, so that means something, okay? Um, or a plane, travel, can be meant travel. Okay, so anyway, there's, the, just pay attention to the omens. It's really gonna help you a lot. All right, so I see someone's strongly missing you. They're concerned you're ending the, the connection with them. And there's a, there's a strong longing, missing, wanna be with you kind of energy here coming in. And wanting to do something uh, passionate with you. Okay. <laughs> what is going on with the signs lately with this passionate stuff going on? Anyway, I literally, I think it was uh, the mid monthly. So I was like, literally, like, oh my good. Oh my goodness. Like, it was like Knight of Wands all over the place going on. Okay. So, so anyway, so someone's definitely interested on the 29th of doing some kind of passionate situation here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's keep going. Now we got the Page of Swords, which is interesting because a lot of readers will reference the Page of Swords as the spine card. It's right below the Knight of uh, the Seven of Swords. Here we go. Page of Swords can be a child. Okay. Page of Swords could be a younger Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Page of Swords can be someone who's being immature. Page of Swords can be new perspective and new understanding. This person is a little bit different than my usual type and expectations. Okay. So that could be the Page of Swords. Um, this person wants to heal the connection. And also this can be known as a, since we're talking about the fact that if we go this way, something passion around this, this could also be known as a bed pleasure card. <laughs> okay. And traveling to you. Okay. To make some power moves. Okay. Uh, to spend some time alone. Okay. All right, um, so we got this 31st here of October. So it looks like someone's looking at you like Libra, like you are my ideal partner here. You got everything that I need. So what I want you to think about with the magician card energy is what? So it's that card of, you know how you fill out a, a job application and they got, okay, you have to have a master's degree or a bachelor's degree and you gotta have this and you gotta have that. You gotta have this criteria, you know, Word, you know, uh, PowerPoint, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, when the magician comes out, it's saying, it's like, oh my God, Libra, Libra is so attractive. Libra, Libra, you know, uh, they really got their stuff together. You know, that's, that's the kind of energy you wanna look at when you look at the magician, okay? I know a lot of, uh, a lot of the definitions out there, or uh, maybe, uh, you know, a magician in the negative sense can be meaning a manipulation, yes. The magician in the positive sense could mean manifestation, could mean, uh, okay, I'm willing my personal power. But most times if we're talking about love, this means that this is an ideal partner. Someone sees you as an ideal partner, magician card energy. And that they really want a positive turn of events with you. You may be even receiving something from this person on this day. Uh -huh. We see that there is uh, a person around this, something about finances around this. Okay, so this card here for Kipper can represent finance. It can represent a brother. It can represent a son. It can represent, um, it can represent a friend. Okay, so somebody here is like, hey, what's up Libra? 
it's, you're getting some kind of intuitive sign about this person. So for some of you guys, this could be a friend and it's like, hmm, something about this person, interesting. Okay, mm, yeah, you're kind of like looking at this person like there could be a future here. There could be something here. Okay, well, let's keep going. So uh, there is this, on November 1st, there's like this rosy colored glasses going on about this gift. And uh, this, uh, yeah, rosy colored glasses or confusion about this gift you receive. Um, but you're really happy, Sun card energy. And uh, you feel like there's a situation where you feel something has happened with your romantic love life where you feel like, all right, I've moved past this. It's been a major change here. It's like uh, the worst of all this is over. Now I can really get focused. Okay, so, yep, there's a friend around this. Okay, so there is a friend here. So let's say some of you guys on the 2nd of November may be hanging out and having a good time, okay? This is the this is the going out and having a good time card, okay? Going out with friends, having a good time, going for a party, okay? That's the Three of Cups, joyful energy, okay? Or can represent a friend. Yeah, you know, it's definitely like a person that's like, I wanna be there for you, I wanna do stuff for you, come on, let's go, okay? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely party going on there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> love to keep going, but cautiousness and defensiveness. <laughs> yeah, I'm hanging out, having a good time. Okay, so you guys definitely on the, most of you guys on the second is going to be a fun time there. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Um, Ace of Pentacles, uh, how's your love interest feel about you? They feel like there's huge potential for long-term commitment. They want to apologize to you. Uh, you're the person that they've been waiting for. Uh, we get, again, we got another party card coming up here. Well, I mean, uh, it is, this is the week of the Halloween and stuff. Okay, so there's this party taken out. There's multiple people. They want to reunite with you. Okay. We see apologize about something to do with a marriage, long-term commitment, and a legal... Uh, this person actually, this alignment of cards here shows this person, whoever this is, Libra, wants to have an official long-term marriage with you, okay? You literally got this card, this card, and this card. Oh my goodness. For those of you who are reading Kipper, take note of these card combinations, okay? Courthouse, okay? Marriage card, legal matters, okay? That definitely means that this person is interested in making something a, 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 a official legal marriage, <laughs> okay? So, you are the best decision for me. We see this delays and challenges and I wanna communicate with you, I wanna talk with you. Okay, well, let's keep going. I wanna be happy with you. I wanna take this risk leap of faith. I find you very attractive. Wow, this is a good alignment here. Okay, so we got this page of wands, which could be flirting and stuff. And we see this boss, this work situation and unexpected money or something of value, okay. And there is this lack of trust, possibly. And some worries and concerns is part of the obstacles, bullies, and challenges. Okay, so you guys this week get some kind of clarity, Ace of Swords, about somebody being single and available to pursue or a sense of financial independence, or maybe you're getting clarity of whether or not you wanna be single and available to pursue, but we see there's somebody, when you're alone at this house, this home situation, I feel like it's ha something happens around here on the 31st <laughs> the Halloween situation kind of changes things for you. Also, you see some kind of profound sign on here on the 27th, but I feel like it's definitely a stronger con confirmation here on the 31st. Like, hmm, that's interesting, okay. Yeah, we see this communication, uh, lots of communication, and some kind of expectation about somebody. And that money card could be talking about somebody you work with. Okay. So we see romance coming in here and deep love and an opportunity presents itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we see that there is a going with the flow, waiting around, see how things are going to play out, but definitely success in your romantic love life this week. Mm -hmm. Being patient till things come into balance. Yep, there is a friend around this and very soon you will have to make a decision. Okay, so you know what Libra, you got this person here, this friend, work friend look like, uh, that could lead to something there. Okay, so 
because it looks like there's love and feelings around that. Okay, so, and it looks like you get that confirmation around that party that's gonna happen. All right, so what's going on my Libra's Romantic? Uh, excuse me, can I suggest my Libra's Romantic Love Life October 27th to November 2nd? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Loom quiet Libra, let's see what's going on. All right, so you know what's best for you. You're the authority here in fixing or healing a situation. When it comes to this money abundance, um, you've learned a lot from the past your romantic love life, so you know what's best for you. And if you really want this, you can stick around uh, to completion. Have fun. Enjoy yourself this week and trust your instincts on this, okay? You're going to be grateful that you did. Yep. Again, saying trust your instincts. Get ready for some major changes coming up this week. Okay. Yep. I told you guys. All right, my beautiful Libras, I love you guys so much. If you guys look at this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you soon.